everyone. Um, it's Tuesday, and I'm recording this message, uh, knowing, having no idea what's going to happen between now and Sunday when this is actually viewed. But uh, this last Sunday, we were able to meet with the um, global outreach team and discuss how we can uh, reach out and care for our partners in this unique time. Um, for them, uh, ministry as normal has pretty much stopped, but we have received some updates from some of them and wanted to share that with you and even some highlights. Uh, the first person um, I heard from was Andre Meyer, and he is planning a church in Leipzig, Germany, and um, they are, of course, at this time not able to meet together. They've been able to use technology to connect, but for a, a church that's in their first year, um, that's the difficulty that they're facing at this time. So we can be um, praying for them. We also heard from Mike and Ashley Troxell, who are a part of our church, but they're serving down in uh, Honduras. And they are also um, confined to their home at this point with uh, their daughter Dixie. But um, they uh, said they've never felt more connected to New Valley than right now. And part of it is because they've actually been able to uh, participate with us in the live stream on Sunday. Jeff and Shannon Husa are um, a new family that uh, we're really excited to tell you about. More about them next month, but they're serving in Papua New Guinea. Um, they are also not able to leave their home at this time, but the upside is that they are able to, uh, much of their work is in translation, and so they're able to continue doing um, their work there in Papua New Guinea. Indo Partners is another one of our uh, church planning partners. Much of the work that they do is in um, digital media already, so they are already uniquely positioned to make the name of Jesus known to the people groups that they work with. Well, that brings us to Ashish. Uh, this week, Stephanie, my wife, sent me an article entitled, Social Distancing is a Privilege of the Middle Class. And this is more evident in India right now than anywhere. This was confirmed by Ashish, who helps head up the Ministry Partners India. And here are, here are some of the facts about what's going on in India right now. Um, they expect an infection rate of 20% possibly, which could result in about 300 million infected people. In the slums, um, there's an average of one toilet per 1,400 people. Uh, many people do not have running water and they're forced to leave their homes to go to the bathroom or to bathe or to, uh, to retrieve water every day. Um, even if the government assistance was available, it would be difficult for daily wage earners to receive financial relief because they don't even have bank accounts. And so um, many workers are forced to choose between working and risking infection or facing extreme hunger. So 90% of the working population will run out of food in two to three days. However, Partners India has found itself uniquely positioned to provide assistance. And Here's what Ashish wrote in his uh, last letter. I've been constantly in touch with our staff on the ground. Although these times are stressful, we feel that this is an opportune time to show the love of God in tangible ways. Just yesterday, the regional emergency response team approached our leadership to come alongside and assist in the rural communities since we are the only NGO with a well-equipped mobile medical unit. We must respond to their plea. Our mobile medical unit staff and the volunteer medical team are standing by to respond to the emergencies. Many of the 60 rural communities that we serve have no access to primary health care facilities, and our presence, especially in those regions, is going to be vital in saving lives. And after reading this, there are a few thoughts that crossed my mind about my family's, my own family's current situation. One of them was that phrase that the fact that we can practice social distancing truly is a privilege and it's not something everyone can do. And we should be praying for our global outreach partners and as they're going through this crisis as well, we should see if we can connect with them and let them know that we're thinking about them during this time and our family's been able to do that to some degree, which has been great. 
And it's such an encouragement to see the staff of Partners India considering God's kingdom first and others before themselves. It's been a real inspiration. And it makes me think that these people must serve a great and merciful God if they're willing to serve him with gladness in this way. So my family, we're just hoping to see uh, how we can be, uni it, well, if we're uniquely positioned to minister to others um, in this time. And we've prayed about that and we actually have been able to. So that's been awesome to see. And we've been encouraged by these reports um, from our partners and from Ashish. So I hope that um, the report from Partners India and our other global outreach partners is an encouragement to you and an inspiration to think of God and his kingdom first and to think about others before yourself during this trying time. And like those serving in this ministry, God will give us the strength to do extraordinary things during this time.